Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be comparing Bandai to Hasbro, the SH Fig Arts line to the Lightning Collection line for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pink Ranger. So the reason I'm doing this Ranger is because I recently picked up a Lightning Collection 2 pack which had the Zeo Pink Ranger and this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pink Ranger. Um, and I do intend to sell her, but I thought since I have the SH Fig Arts, I may as well do a quick comparison video to see how they hold up against each other. Um, and some people would say it's more fair to compare the Bandai Legacy line to the Lightning Collection one since they're these sort of cheaper ones. Um, but for one, I don't have anything from the Legacy line. Um, but also, I'll put up a picture now. You can see it doesn't look like a very nice figure. So I actually think Hasbro are way better than this. So I think it's more fair to actually compare these two together. So let's get into that comparison. Um, so the first thing I want to say, if we put them side by side like this, I think the um, Hasbro Lightning Collection line, um, the figure is actually has better proportions. It looks more like a human in a costume than the SH Fig Arts one does. And you know that's fine. The SH Fig Arts one isn't, doesn't intend to be the most sort of realistic looking human. Um, I think they're more leaning towards detail and articulation, um, whereas Lightning Collection's more, you know, budget figure. But since they have all the sort of molds from all their Marvel Legends that they could work off, and they've probably done some new molds for this, but, you know, it looks more like a human. And, yeah, I think just proportions-wise, it's, it's a better figure. So if that's what you're looking for, you'd be... You'd be wanting to get the um, Lightning Collection one, um, but then if you want to, if you want one more for the detail, I bring these up close. You can see how much um, just cleaner overall the um, SH Fig Arts one is. You know, you can see the diamonds here are actually sculpted onto the chest, um, so there's an actual divide in the lines for those. Whereas here, you know, it's just stickers pasted on, um, and again, it's a budget line, so they do that so they can reuse the mold for other ranges. And that's how they're able to pump them out so quickly. You know, it's been three years since they started the line and they've already got over 100 figures. So it makes a lot of sense for them to do that. Um, I'll just focus on her a bit, though. You know, you can see the pink from the helmet, the arms and the chest are all sort of a different shade. Um, and you'll find that a lot with Hasbro. Um, you'd get some of these similar defects, too, where, you know, the stickers are overlapping. There's missing paint there, um, some scratches on the back. You know, the whites don't match up either. So for a budget figure, you know, you're getting what you pay for. Um, looking at this, you know, the pink is sort of consistent throughout. You have a nice glossy helmet. Uh, one thing which is interesting, though, is the white on the SH figure is less shiny than the um, white on the Lightning Collection. Uh, and then if you look at the pink, it's the opposite way around. So the SH figure has a shiny one there, whereas it's matte here. Um, but I do think the helmet looks really good on the on the um, Lightning Collection one, actually, even though they look great on both. You know, the silver's a bit more shiny here, too. So overall looks, you know, I, I think the SH figure has a better overall look um, because it's just, you know, a bit more clean. The sculpt is specific to this figure. Um, and, you know, it's just you tend to find imports will be better. And, and this doesn't intend to be a budget figure, whereas the Lightning Collection one kind of does. Um, so, yeah, for looks, you know, both look good for different reasons, but I prefer the SH figures. Um, in terms of price, the original price for the SH figures was about thirty-five US dollars, uh, whereas the Lightning Collection was twenty dollars. Um, so yeah, almost double the price. Uh, and this released in twenty thirteen, I believe, whereas the pink one originally came out uh, a few years ago. So it would have been about double if you're adjusting the prices for the years they came out. Um, but nowadays, the SH figure art goes for about $100 to $150. So that's quite a significant difference. Whereas the Pink Range is just re-released in a two-pack. So, you know, you can probably find her for like $25. Um, but before that, I, I did see her go for upwards of $40. So, she, I mean, anything Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is always going to go up in price. So people love their nostalgia. Um, so, yeah, you know, quite a big price difference. If you're going... If you're on a budget, you know, definitely go for the Lightning Collection because, I, I don't know, just looking at them, these two, would you say that this one is worth $100 more than this one? Um, it, de it depends on what you're going for. Um, if you want really action poses, then, yeah, the Lightning Collection won't do that for you. Um, so that's it for the overall look. I mean, another thing, the... Um, 
Lightning Collection one is a bit taller. So um, if you're posing them with existing SH fig arts, you're going to have to be um, quite careful to how you pose them because they will look uh, very out of scale if you have them too close together. I mean, you can see here just uh, the height difference. Okay, so let's look at the accessories they come with. Okay, so for the accessories, you can see the Bandai ones on the left, the Hasbro ones on the right, and uh, they both come with similar accessories, a few different ones. Um, Hasbro's got the effect pieces, which Bandai just never seems to do with their SH Figarts line. Um, this one here actually comes with the original release. I don't have the original one, uh, but it also comes with a few other ranges because they reuse their effect pieces. Um, so I just threw it in there. But for the two pack, you only get the ones which I've put here. Um, so one thing that um, Lightning Collection have done uh, since they started is the head sculpts for the um, actual human forms of the ranges. Uh, and this is Cat, the second uh, second pink ranger um, I'll put a picture of Kimberly up now you can see Kimberly is very bad so they've actually done a good job with this um, they've definitely improved the technology that they used to do this um, so yeah I think that's a pretty nice accessory uh, I know that SH Figots have done some head sculpts in the past but those are very ugly so Lightning Collection definitely win there um, then for the ones that they have the same of you have the bow um, again obvious difference in quality there the um, SH Figure One just has a lot more paint on there, a lot more detail. Um, same for the arrow. So SH Figure Arts actually put the, or Bandai actually put the hand sculpted onto that, uh, which I think is a good decision because the hand you need to hold the arrow for the Lightning Collection one is this one here, the gripping hand. So you kind of have to just jam, jam that in there like that. And it doesn't look great, to be honest. Um, so yeah, definitely a, a win for bandai there um for the other hands so yeah you get two uh gripping hands by default on the uh, hasbro figure and then you get a fist and a karate chop hand by default on the sh figure you get the two fists as usual um you also have two posing hands so almost a karate chop and a sort of almost gripping hand um, and then you get two gripping hands for her left one for the bow and then one for the blade blaster and then another gripping hand on the other if you want to hold the blade blaster in the other hand. Um, for the blade blasters, um, they come in different forms on each uh, of the figures. So you have the sort of collapsed form on the SH figure art for the lining collection um, in the blade form. And you know, again, huge difference in quality, a lot more paint there. Um, probably better to compare these. So you have um, I think that's called the Thunder Sling attached to the Blade Blaster, but if you just look at the sort of Blade Blaster portion, huge difference in, in quality again. Um, and then finally, the two-pack comes with this cat, and the character's called Cat. I can't remember if this cat's in the show or not, but, you know, this is just a cute little bonus. I quite like it. Kind of looks like something you'd get, you know, for free from a gachapon machine or something, but whatever. Um, and then this final effect piece which I'm not really sure where it attaches, but I found that you can attach on the arrow, so, or it doesn't stay very well. But yeah, I don't know if, if you would want to do that. But yeah, that's uh, that's the accessories. You know, pretty good batch overall, but um, I would say the SH Figarts ones are definitely better for this. The last thing I want to compare is the articulation. So I won't go through every single point um, as I would do in a review. I just want to highlight sort of the key differences. Um, so overall, you will find that the SH Figart just does everything the Lightning Collection figure does better. Um, so, you know, the head, it would hardly move side to side there and doesn't really look much up and down. Whereas for the SH figure, you know, you get um, way better range there. Um, and you'll find that's with all parts of the articulation. So, you know, if you're going to put them in the splits, um, it's pretty easy for the SH figure character to do. Um, but then if you're doing that for the Lightning Collection one, you know, you get almost a... Uh, hyperextended knees so um, you don't really want to be doing that with them it's not going to damage the figure but it just just looks a bit weird um, they both have um, butterfly joints um, they're sort of just using different tech you know this has got the big shell for it I'm not sh really sure what that would be called whereas this one's just quite small and you know a um, bit more hidden but you can sometimes see the um, metal part of the joint underneath so you do want to be careful with that um, the chest, you know, is kind of similar on both of them. Um, it's just, yeah, that, that one's pretty uh, 
pretty comparable. Um, one of the other major differences is the knee knees. Um, so you can see the pins on the Hasbro Fig, which you don't have on the Lightning on the uh, sorry SH Fig Art One. Um, you don't have them on the elbow, which you do for the male characters. Um, but there's a new uh, Pink Ranger coming out soon. I'll put the photo up now, and you can see there's no pins for those on either the knees or the elbows. Um, so that's a pretty good improvement from them. I'm hoping to see that in some more of their um, of their future figures. So overall, you know, um, just much better articulation on the SH figure, as you would expect. It's got more points of articulation, um, you know, even got a toe joint, which the uh, Hasbro figure doesn't have. Um, and I have found that with this one, you know, the, the um, hinge on the foot is kind of like a clip, which easily comes off um, and it kind of limits the posability there. Um, so just some sort of, I wouldn't say bad decisions because, you know, it's it's a budget figure. But yeah, if you're going purely for articulation, the SH figure, if you're going for price, definitely the Hasbro figure. Um, and yeah, I suppose that's sort of my overall comments for these two. So um, they're both really good figures for what they are. And if you're looking to buy um, one of them, I hope this video has helped you um, decide based on, you know, price, articulation, overall look, all of those sorts of things, accessories too. Um, and yeah, and if you want to see more of these sorts of comparison videos, let me know in the comments below. And that's probably it for the video. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.